Now, this is called Muskin's Black. Uh, what I'm going to do here is we tie a quilled version of the, basically this fly. Now, it's quite simple to tie. Now, the thread, because I'm going to be using a quilled body, normally I would use a uni thread for tying, like the, that one there, the, the one with the pheasant tail body. But I'm going to be using, because I've got the quilled body, I'm going to be using a UTC in black. It's a, it's a flat thread, makes for a nice or a smoother body. So what I'm going to do is start at the eye of the hook. Now the hook I'm using is the fulling mill. This is the competition heavyweight in black. So I'm just going to move the base piece. I'm going to come down about a third of the way and then I'm going to come back up, stop about a head length from the, the eye. Then I'm going to tie in some Glowbrite. This is number 16 yarn, this one here. for the. These are for the breathers. I have some in my desk, so I just lift it up. Now I've doubled up on it, just to thicken this up a wee bit. Get your distance right, which is there. Tie this, make sure you've got enough you can control, because you have to separate this when you come back up. Now as you come back down, I'm going to then secure it in, but I'm going to come down at an angle with the, with the scissors and trim it towards the back. This will help taper the body for you. As I say, you want a nice smooth body, so I'm going to anti-clockwise spin the bobbin to flatten the thread. Now keep your fingers, tips of your fingers, at the ends of the cut, cut ends of the, the yarn. And then work your way down. This will control them and stop them sort of rolling around the hook. Come down. Now in this version, for the tail, instead of using like black or cackle fibres in that one, I'm going to use, this is uh, Coq de Leon. This is uh, the white and Coq de Leon. Now I'm just going to bring out enough fibres for the tail. 90 degrees from the, the stem, should line them up. Then we tear them away. Now just a wee bit better than there, just a wee bit. Not as good as I like, so I'm going to go back. If you're not happy, go back. Now these are a bit broken the fibres so I'm going to have to go into my pack. Oh, here we are, there's a better, it's a better fibres. Again, we'll just bring them out. It's important if you're not happy with something, stop because you'll not fish the fly properly, you'll not have the confidence. Now, they say 90 degrees from the stem should line the tips up. Length of the tail, looking body length, so hold them in your finger and thumb. Come over with a couple of turns in this case just to secure them in and that get them winding down a wee bit so I'm just going to check the length, a wee quick look at the length that's fine. Trim this the length of the, the body which is there. Got my quill, this is a natural quill. Now what this is is just a strip peacock eye, natural eye, then stripped. I've used a, a bleach to do that start at the back and then wind up try and keep things as smooth as possible and if you can taper it up the flat threads will taper much easier than the round threads like the uni just don't spin in the bobbin there just to make sure the thread is flat a quick look at the, the body itself that's fine now I'm going to wind the this over some super glue. And then wind up. Now if you retouch touch too much, I'm just going to tap it with my finger. And then wind up. Now you could coat the body with a, with a resin if you want. Uh, I'm not going to bother. Just work your way up. Um, or varnish. Now you get to this point here, two thirds of the way up, a couple of turns to hold, trim away. Now what I'm going to use at the back, well, we first tie in some pheasant tail. Now we use the dyed black pheasant tail for the thorax cover. Now you're looking round about eight to ten fibres. But I need to come further up, I want them slightly thicker, I don't want the tips. So we trim them together, tie this in. You want to keep it on the top. Just a wee bit of 
wax on the thread at this point, so I'm just going to make sure that everything's neat. Spin the bobbin, flatten the thread, and then quickly come back down. Now there's many things you could use at the back here. Now I've, what I've got, this is, it's called Edge Bright, and it's, as you can see the edge of the, this is really bright, catches like a fibre optic light, catches the light. Now I've cut it into a thin strip, tapered, and we tie this on and wind it, just in the first mill or so. Way up, but again, let me do it a tiny bit of super glue there. You could use the hot, the red holographic, or whatever you like. It's up to yourself. Just wind this on. Allow the super glue to stick. You want one turn in front of the other. Come up, you're happy, that's fine. I'm keeping this on the side and trimming it. Then I'm going to put some, in this case, a UV. Let's have here. Let's uh, use a UV dubbing. This is the Diamond Bright and Black. You could use just a normal dubbing, just the black seals fur or something like that. And then just lightly, and I mean, it's just lightly. Try and keep, don't. Want to bulk the body up or the thorax up too much? Wind this up. Take a wee drop in the front of the the yarn, and then we're going to bring over pheasant tail. We want to split this evenly to form the the breathers. Now we could use a eye just to do that. We do but separate it first. You can see how we've made a space for it. We can bring this through. Hold it tight, come in with the thread, tighten up with it. Two or three turns in and now I like to fold this back, form a nice head with the thread. Keep the thread tight, don't let it go. And then we can come in, whip finish, trim away, you can trim away the pheasant tail. Now, best to varnish it at this point, just come in, draw back the yarn, because it's long it's much easier to, to control. And then we can trim this. You can trim it, I like to trim them both at the same time. Uh, it's easier for me if I do it sideways so I can see, but so you can see what I'm going to do is come up from under the front of the, the angle of the eye. Just look at the length. Trim. And then just lightly tap them down either side. So you get a nice wee image. You don't want to overdo it. But you can see how the light hits the, the edge bright. And uh, it's a simple wee fly. Um, you can experiment with the colours and tile up to yourself. And see, there's the, the pheasant tail version, which you can tie. So, you can, if these are too long, you can always trim them away. But it's up to yourself. There we are. So that's the quilled version of the the muskin. So I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs>